What is up collector crew? Shiny Collector here. These Kalos fossils have such amazing shinies, so of course I had to hunt this for the badge quest. Uh, before anything else, I want to give a huge shout out to the people on Twitch that actually helped me get enough fossils for this to be able to revive five at a time, because otherwise you only get uh, one fossil per game uh, for these Kalos fossils. Uh, and that would just would have gone much slower. So thank you all because of you. Uh, I was able to get 135 uh, fossil re revivals per hour, uh, which is pretty great, especially considering how under odds this was. Uh, if you want, you can stay tuned after the shiny portion of this video to watch the gym battle since it's for the badge quest. But for now, here is my Kalos fossil shiny. For sure. Little tricks like shaking it like crazy, move watts. Yeah. I would, uh. They did call it watts, huh? Sword shield and original. Uh, but yeah. I, I would put it on my fan and then just let my fan run. That was a frequent play. You stay strapped always. Yeah, there were there were a handful of tricks. Shiny Froki for DCQ, yo, GG, dude. Shiny Tyron. Ooh, speaking of getting shinies for quests, look at that. This is why I always say shinies come in pairs. <laughs> All right, let me save real quick. I didn't look at the nature. I'm not sure if uh, everyone on stream did or not. Sorry, I just stole your flame with that, Froki. My bad. Um, I'm going to go ahead and guess Hasty Nature. Uh, we've got... Oh, is this one Jolly? So that's Jolly, just like the Amora. Oh, and look, we got Amora up here. Cool. Um, so we got a Jolly one with that. So I'm just going to try to figure out what this actually is. Plus speed, minus attack. Is that Timid? Timid. Look at me actually knowing Natures for once. Yeah, I guess Hasty Chat's got their guesses. It's plus special defense, minus speed. I honestly don't think that's fantastic, but it could definitely be worse. Uh, I want to say that... Actually, I'm not sure. Sassy. Oh, I did know that. I did know that. Dude, Shiny Tyrun. Looks like the luck in this game is finally turning around. All right, I should probably make this big screen. Here we go. Dude. Yeah, I had that three. I mean, I had the first two were really lucky on this. But then I had like three over odds, severely over odds in a row. Uh, and now I've had three pretty, pretty far under odds in a row. So like, honestly, not too bad. So I think the uh, last phase for Pancham, if I'm not mistaken, if I remember correctly, was uh, actually I'll go over here on the Rhyhorn for encounters. Um, but yeah, I believe the Pancham one was about 1430, that or 1340 or something like that. Um, yeah, then the... Uh, Amora was only 680, and now this guy is looking at 1464, apparently. Not too bad. Um, so yeah, the next badge quest target is, I believe, it's actually going to be on this route, uh, funny enough. I'm going to be going for, I'm going to get heat for how I'm saying its name. Not that. Uh. Let me remove the bottom screen. So normal sand dial and shiny Tyrant. All right, I definitely have to do it again without the bottom screen there. Um, but yeah, I'm going to be going for Helioptile, Helioptile, he Helioptile, however you say its name, that thing. Uh, 
Yeah, probably as the next target. What do you mean I can't escape? Okay, so I guess that's just the one encounter we're doing. Uh, I'll see you guys back with the gym battle. Alright, so we are back. I accidentally started talking to him uh, before saving and making sure that I was healed. So we're just going to hope that I got this. I honestly think that I've got it. Um, I've got Amora, which is ice type, and honestly Nala, which is fire type, which is probably going to sweep his whole team. Because uh, they're right around the same level, and I've actually got a type advantage here, so... I had to wait for the sparkles. Uh, so yeah, oh, no, never mind. I'm a higher level than this one it, by a good amount. This is this is definitely getting one shot. Nala also just learned Flamethrower, so that's definitely uh, going to make this an easy win. I, I'm, I'm pretty sure this is just a one-shot everything, full sweep. Level up. Love to see it. Oh, and Walnut got that level up too. Heck yeah. Going into Go-Go... Go Goat looks pretty good. Maybe I should. I don't know. Kind of want to power up one of the Skodo to use that on the team. But at the same time, I've already got a Grass type. So I don't really, like, need to. And I'm not trying to swap out Walnut. No, I don't think I will. I'm honestly surprised that that survived a hit, though. Not gonna lie. Dang. Oh! Get wrecked. Get burnt. Yeah, I, I thought that it would heal. I was hoping the last one was low roll. Uh, flamethrower and this would be high roll so that I could one shot. But, I mean, burn works too. I'm not complaining. That go-go was probably his ace, right? Yeah, that was definitely his ace. Honestly, bad play to uh, not leaf stone that weeping bell. And that's it. Easy W. Oh, this is kind of cool, too. I just realized. This is the, I think, fourth gym for this game, and it's a grass type. And that's a lot like uh, Kanto, where the fourth gym is grass type with Erica. So it's just, I don't know, kind of funny coincidence, I think, that they're both grass and both the fourth gym. Or both the fourth gyms and them are grass, yeah. So there we go. Fourth badge, fifth for the badge quest. Uh, pretty easy. That one was a lot easier of a battle than Karina's gym. Not gonna lie. All right, I'll see you guys in the next one. Probably be uh, Helioptile. Uh, yeah, so until next time, keep it calm, cool, and collected.